Let us have a discussion on bulk oil circuit breaker without discussing so many things. We simply straightforward want to tell you that in a bulk oil circuit breaker, oil performs two purposes. One is providing insulation. The other is serving as the arc quenching medium between the contacts of the circuit breaker during opening or closing. Basically, this is the basic structure of a bulk oil circuit breaker. These two are the bushings through which the external connections pass. They connect the external circuit. These are the fixed contacts connected with the internal connection of the bushing. This is the moving contact. This is the tie rod which facilitates the movement of the moving contact. Whenever the external mechanism operates, the tie rod moves down. Hence, this moving contact rod also moves down along with it. From this diagram, we can easily see that a bulk oil circuit breaker is generally a double brake type circuit breaker. One make brake operation happens at this contact and another at the other contact. So it breaks at two points. The external tank, made of iron or steel, is directly connected to earth. The oil inside the tank provides necessary insulation between the tank and the live conductor. From this arrangement, since the body is earthed, it is a dead tank type design. So a bulk oil circuit breaker is normally a double brake dead tank type circuit breaker. It is not mandatory for a bulk oil circuit breaker to be double brake type. There are many single brake types available in the market. Many manufacturers design single brake bulk oil circuit breakers. In our illustration, we are showing only a double brake type. Now suppose the bushing studs are connected to the external circuit. When the moving contacts go down due to the movement of the tie rod, an arc starts between the contacts during opening of the breaker. This happens due to the high voltage gradient at the instant they separate. As soon as the moving contact surface detaches from the fixed contact surface, an arc forms. The temperature becomes very high at the arc spot. The surrounding oil vaporizes and decomposes, generating hydrogen gas. As oil is a hydrocarbon, this hydrogen gas forms a gaseous bubble around the arc. The surrounding oil applies high pressure to this hydrogen bubble. As the arc continues, more oil decomposes into hydrogen gas. The bubble size tries to increase. See, the bubbles are increasing in size. Due to the high surrounding oil pressure, the bubble size cannot increase as quickly as hydrogen gas is produced. This increases hydrogen gas pressure. Hydrogen has excellent cooling and deionizing properties, which help in arc extinction. After the current passes through zero, the arc naturally extinguishes and cannot reignite immediately. Fresh oil from the surrounding area fills the gap between the contacts. This re-establishes dielectric strength. Finally, the arc is quenched. This is the simple process by which a bulk oil circuit breaker quenches an arc. Hope you got the idea. Thank you. If you found this helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and tap the notification bell. Got questions or want us to cover a specific topic? Leave a comment. Thank you.